The second spinal reflex is extensor thrust reflex. As other spinal reflexes, these reflex found at the first two months of age and they disappear after that or controlled after that. The response of extensor thrust is uncontrolled and after two months it becomes controlled. Let's talk about the reflex. The infant lies in subine lying position, his head in midline and both legs extended. Okay? Flex one, lower limb, and the other is extended, and then apply noxious stimulation at the sole of the foot of the flexed limb. The response of the infant is will push the source of the stimulus downward, extend his uh, uncontrolled extension of his lower limb, extension of the hip and knee, and blunter flexion. This response is uncontrolled. He responds like he pushes the uh, the source of the harm or the source of the danger uh, downward. Okay. Uh, what uh, is the importance of this reflex? Um, uh, its absence may indicate uh, a lesion of the uh, central nervous system. Also, the presence of this reflex in later in age, if you have an infant of about three years or, or four years and still have uh, this reflex, this may indicate a central nervous system lesion, especially hypertonia. This reflex also considered as a protective response.